on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. For this project I used How to Make and Fly Model Hot Air Balloons by Ray Morse. In chapter six he has a project called Rocket Balloon and this project is pretty interesting because he makes a paper uh, rocket that's made to look like a United States rocket. I thought it would be interesting instead of just doing a traditional United States rocket, again this book was made a long time ago, I thought it would be fun to do uh, SpaceX's new Starship uh, rocket. On page 44, uh, I pretty much used a lot of these proportions uh, in the schematic. I made my gas cell, my gas bag a little bit bigger. Uh, my, just because I'm going to be adding larger fins and fins to the top. So weight was something I was really really thinking about throughout the, this project. So once I had kind of a general idea of what I wanted to do, uh, next I had to choose some material. And in the book they use paper, but what I really wanted to do was I wanted to use emergency blanket. The emergency blanket, once it unfolded, kind of had the same look as uh, SpaceX's uh, Starship. It kind of has this, this interesting pattern to it. So after getting the right length, the next step I needed to do was to, to, was to tape it together and to form the nose cone, I had to uh, add triangles to the top that I eventually would tape together. After getting my length of my space blanket right, uh, I've taped two panels together to make the form the length, and I really liked how it started to turn out. Like I could really start to see the pattern. Next, I went and cut out the triangles. Now, in Ray Morris's book, he has you uh, tape the triangles to your uh, sheets of tissue paper before you form the tube, but unfortunately, I didn't. I did it afterwards and it wasn't it was uh, it would have been better if I would have done it all at once uh, instead of putting the triangles on after the tube but once I had them taped on um, I went ahead the next step is to tape them together now this was a little bit of a challenge 
Um, once you got past the first, I don't know, like three inches, they really, it was a lot easier to line the triangles up next to each other, side to side. Once I had all my stuff together, in Ray Morris's book, he has a little uh, the lifting ring on the top, but I left this off mine. But it, generally speaking, it did look like this, and I was very happy. The next step was I'm gonna have to figure out how to do my fins. So once I figured out my proportions and kind of what size I wanted to have my fins compared to the body, I decided to make my fins out of paper. Uh, ultimately, this would be my fins would be too floppy, so I had to add some extra stiffening to them. So I kind of make a, a, a T on running along the edges. But I didn't do it with the full edges because again I was concerned for weight. But it, ultimately, that made my my flat my fins too flappy, and they were hard to control. Once I had done my outside test, I needed to attach my fins. So I went and inflated the end with a hair dryer. I taped down the, the cool button so it wasn't blasting hot air. And in this way I could figure out how to attach my, my uh, string that would, uh, my fishing line that helped keep my fins in place. On the top it worked out uh, fairly decent. I'm happy with the way the top fins turned out, but my bottom ones, because they weren't stiff and because I didn't include an inner wire at the bottom, it really, they didn't really have enough inner structure and they kept flapping back and forth and I couldn't tighten my strings. And I tried doing that, but it would pucker in the bottom. So ultimately that was kind of a disappointment. Another issue that I had, I, you couldn't really see it from the video, but I actually had where my heat shield on the bottom uh, my space blanket touched my stove pipe which had gotten too hot and it actually melted uh, a nice hole in the bottom of my ship. So that's something I actually didn't, in other projects I glue my heat shield on, um, in this one I didn't, I used tape and I think either it got too hot or just the way and kind of the awkwardness of trying to get uh, the spaceship balloon onto the uh, thermal inflator each time it kind of kinks it a little bit and so I had to be super careful and sometimes it just yeah so I actually ended up melting a giant hole in it. Overall it was a great project. Um, I would have loved to have sent it up higher up in the air but unfortunately I'm just launching from my backyard and I had to keep pulling it down otherwise it would have gone over my neighbor's yards but hopefully once COVID's passed I can see what it looks like out in the open. Maybe I can launch it from a park or something. It might be interesting to do some more with this. Um, I can make it bigger, maybe add some more internal stuff. I don't know, we'll see. This kind of gives a, a new name to uh, raccoons or rocket balloons. I watched the launch of uh, the Starship and it was pretty amazing. I watched it go up, uh, it went pretty high and then to watch it do kind of lay over on its side and then glide down and then the landing which of course every you know exploded but overall I think it was a pretty cool ship uh, I was pretty impressed to see it fly in the air and I was sad to see it kind of go in the end if you like this project go ahead and click that like button of course if you I'd appreciate any if you'd like to support this channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching make things fly
Okay, let's move for another lunch. 